Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a bit of a follow-up to the video that I did at the beginning of last week on the Microsoft Windows 1.11 game, which was basically a giant Stranger Things advertisement. And um, despite that, it was a pretty cool game that they created. It was a very, very uh, unique advertising campaign. And if you haven't seen that video, I'd highly recommend that you go and check it out up in the card so you'll kind of know what we're going to be talking about today. And what we're going to be talking about today is a new theme that has been released by Microsoft in the Windows App Store or the Microsoft Store called Windows Throwback. And what this is, is basically a tiny customization package for Windows 10 that kind of adds a Windows 1.0 and 80s feel to your computer. Unfortunately, it's not as elaborate as some of the other transformation packs that we've taken a look at on this channel. We've taken a look at the Mac OS transformation pack, the Vista transformation pack, uh, Windows 10 transformation pack. There's a ton of these transformation packs that we've done. This one isn't elaborate as that. It doesn't change the style of the taskbar or the start menu or the icons. This is literally just a package of wallpapers. Yes, it sounds pretty simple, but it's still pretty neat to see Microsoft doing this. And this is kind of a uh, tie into their whole 80s style ad campaign that they did over on Twitter and through that Windows 1.11 app that was released a while ago. So this is free as well. You can download it in the Windows App Store. And I would highly recommend that you do it because it is pretty cool. It doesn't hurt your system at all. It's literally just a collection of wallpapers. But it's nice that it comes bundled in a theme. So we're going to be taking a look at that right now. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So here we are in a Windows 10 virtual machine. And I should also mention that this is a very, very quick download because it's literally just some desktop images. Now, these are 4K images, which is very, very nice as well. So for those people out there that are using a 4K monitor, these uh, images will fit very, very nicely and they will look very awesome. Uh, on those monitors, but even in my case, I don't have a 4k monitor and they still look pretty cool So all you have to do is either hit apply from the Microsoft Store or go into your personalization settings and uh, Apply it from there. We're just gonna do it from the Microsoft Store here. We'll just open it up for us and It will just open up your theme settings in the uh, Windows settings application and we have this new theme right here called Windows throwback It has nine images. I thought it said ten images yeah, so for some reason it's only finding nine. That's very interesting. Maybe that's uh, yeah, that's very very odd. It says ten here in the store, but it says nine on the uh, actual theme here. We're going to go ahead and apply it, and you might be able to hear it has some sounds going on as well. It does actually have a custom sound pack, although it's not as elaborate as you might think. I was kind of hoping they would add some more sounds than they actually did but I will kind of get into that as well and show you what I'm talking about. So these are the images that we have here. They look pretty cool. These are new images as far as I'm concerned. These are not, uh, you know, uh, older images that have been like retouched or, or anything like that. These are brand new images. Um, at least I haven't seen them before, so I'm just assuming that they are uh, brand new. And so you might have been able to see that uh, that that first one there with the older uh, you know computer with the Microsoft logo, you know the very very old Microsoft logo. This one here is pretty cool. It's just got three different uh, floppy diskettes with kind of a Windows um, blue color background. You know that static blue color that you might see on uh, Windows 3.1 or Windows 95. We're just going to go ahead and go to our next desktop background. This one right here is a major tie-in to the uh, Stranger Things application because this is exactly how the logo looked um, in that Stranger Things Windows 1.11 program that was again on the Microsoft Store. So it looks also like we have a uh, IBM PC 5150 or at least a clone. There's no IBM branding on it so it could be a clone. Um, and then I guess it's on like auto change or something because it's just like kind of going through it as a slideshow or at least the slideshow is just very, very quick. Uh, this one right here is a, it's definitely looking like it's a Windows 1.0 color scheme. Uh, pretty much all of these colors were used in Windows 1 by default. So it's just kind of a, a nice take on that. It's got some lines going on down the screen here. So yeah, uh, very, very cool looking. We'll go ahead and go to our next one. This one looks exactly like that other one, just with the blue Microsoft logo, and it's a little bit brighter. So you can see that this is not a, I mean, it probably is an IBM PC. They just took off uh, the IBM branding to avoid 
having to pay some sort of licensing fee. Um, but yeah, so I just uh, checked here and it's actually the default setting is every one minute. It, it will change the uh, desktop picture every one minute. So you'll probably want to change that. I just changed it to, to uh, 10 minutes here. This one I really like because it is the O from the Microsoft logo, you know, that old uh, Microsoft logo that you guys probably saw a couple of times in the previous images. It's just kind of uh, tiled across the screen with a purplish background, a very, very nice touch. There's actually a bit of a gradient as well. You can see it's a little bit of a, a different color between the top here and, and the bottom. So again, a very, very uh, nice effect there. This one is also exactly like those other two. It's just even brighter and it's yellow. It's got a yellow Microsoft logo instead of a red or a blue one again with that IBM uh, looking PC 5150 right there we're going to go to our next one and this one I really like as well because it's a bunch of just elements from Windows 1.0 a lot of icons and, and, and things that you might see from this honestly looks like stuff you might have seen in like the Windows 3.0 paint program um, but definitely a very, very nice touch as well. We again have the uh, O from the Microsoft logo. We've got a nice looking uh, drawing of a floppy disk there. So very, very cool looking for sure. This is probably my favorite one in the entire package. I did like that other one with the tiled Microsoft O, but uh, this was this honestly kind of uh, reminds me of one of the early um, Aperture Science logos. If you guys have uh, played uh, Portal 2, this one kind of reminds me of the um, 70s Aperture logo. It looks pretty neat. Um, so there you go. We'll just go ahead and go to our last one here. And this last one is you know kind of looks like a DOS prompt with this tiled effect down here at the bottom. It just says Microsoft 1985. Have a totally radical day. Um, which was actually something that they were tweeting. I don't think they were saying have a totally radical day. They were actually, um, whoever is their social media manager on the Windows uh, Twitter account is pretty awesome because they were actually uh, replying to a lot of um, people's um, reactions to some of their 80s tweets over there and they were saying things like it's totally radical and all this stuff it was just really really funny in my opinion they did an extremely good job on that ad campaign i think it was a really really cool thing so this is kind of a, a tie in, into that possibly or, or just a very 80s uh, saying right here have a totally radical day uh they just uh just threw that in here and that is it so let's go ahead and just count here we've got one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are only nine. I don't know why the thing in here says 10 backgrounds. It's very interesting. Um, but all of these are 4K images. Uh, one thing we can also do is go into the uh, personalization settings and go to the sounds here. I believe there's a way to do that. We'll go back to our themes here. And so it does have a sound package, it's called Windows Throwback, but it's not really, as I said before, it's not as elaborate as you might think. It's kind of disappointing to be honest, they did add a couple of sounds. One thing that they also did is they used the one sound for a lot of different actions. So this one right here, this S31 startup version, which is the Windows uh, you know, 3.1 chime at the start. Go ahead and just uh, test it here. So it's a little bit of a remix of that, but that is the Windows 3.1 um, Tada startup sound that you might hear when you're booting up Windows 3.1 or shutting down Windows 95. So it's again a little bit of a uh, remix to that, but they've used this same sound for multiple different um, actions in Windows 10 here. So the asterisk is that one. Uh, calendar reminder they didn't change this is just the standard windows notify calendar this one here the critical battery alarm they used a um, pop-up blocked sound which is an interesting choice this was like from windows xp too so that's not even from windows 1.0 at all but that's a very interesting choice but that's what they did um, critical stop they also use that same sound so you can see there it is uh, duplicated across two different actions this one here default beep is the same uh, tada sound Desktop mail connection is a, a different sound. I don't know where this is from, um, but it's S Windows Default 2.wave. It's not in Windows 10 by default, I know that, but they've uh, pulled that from somewhere or remixed an older sound. Um, you have this uh, ding sound, which uh, kind of sounds like it's from the Windows Vista speech recognition, uh, I believe is where that they got that from. So there you go. Device fail to connect is just a Windows hardware fail. 
exclamation is again that same uh, Windows 3.1 sound. This one hasn't been changed. You can tell the ones that have been changed because they have this S underscore uh, prefix before the actual sound name. So this one here, low battery alarm, again, the same sound. Uh, message nudge is the same one. Email notify, these are all the same. Um, let's go, go ahead and scroll down here. I don't think they changed a lot of these down here. These are all not even on at all. System notification is again that same sound. This one is the same sound. This one is the uh, Windows Vista Restore window. Um, they pulled that in here for Windows user account control. Again, it's a very odd choice, but that's what they went with. That's the sound that you would hear in Vista when you would, if you had it on at least. I don't think I ever did. But when you would um, restore a window from it being minimized, you would hear this sound. So, again, it's a very, very interesting choice. Um, File Explorer, they don't have anything turned on at all. Windows speech recognition is all of the uh, regular sounds. And you might be able to see here... At least I, I thought... Maybe that other sound that I was thinking was from speech recognition might not be, because I, I thought that it sounded familiar. Um, but there you go, I mean, that's basically all it is. It's literally just a set of nine, not ten, but nine um, desktop wallpapers and some sounds. Honestly, yeah, it's not a whole lot, but it's a very, very uh, nice, you know, set of uh, desktop wallpapers, at least. I mean, the sounds, honestly, I would probably customize them myself if I wanted to go for an older Windows uh, theme. You know, but uh, they definitely tried. Um, they probably could have done a better job on the sounds, like I said. But the wallpapers, I like all of them. They're pretty, pretty cool. Um, again, a very, very nice touch if you kind of want to just give your PC a little bit of an 80s look. So yes, I will again have this link down below in this video's description if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. But that is basically going to go ahead and wrap it up uh, for today's video. Again, just a quick look at this Windows throwback official theme in the Microsoft Windows Store. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. And also be sure to drop me a comment down below letting me know your guys' thoughts on this theme. Is this what you expected? Were you hoping that there was more? Um, I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.